Hey everybody, it's The Walker. So what are we doing today? Well today, it's Solar Sunday, and we're gonna be doing a review of the Gold Zero Nomad Plus. Let's take a look at this. As the name Nomad 14 would seem to indicate, the uh, rated output is for a maximum hypothetical 14 watts. It's a folding solar panel. It uses magnets to hold itself closed. So basically, the um, back pocket has a zipper to holding this cable. The cable's nice. It's um, pretty, pretty robust. Unlike your usual thin USB cables that come with uh, other solar panels. This is actually one of the reasons why I bought this. I got this um, at eBay. It was an open box um, discount type deal. So I didn't pay full retail for it. I just uh, put, it, put in a lower bid and then the seller accepted it. The reason why I bought it is because I have this Sherpa. The Sherpa 50. The Sherpa 50 has a proprietary input. I could charge this via solar or with a plug, and I use this for my uh, home preparedness, such as if there's a storm, or also use this for uh, trips like car camping or if I'm going to like a hotel or something like that. I really don't take this um, into the woods unless I'm using a pull sled or I'm not going very far from the uh, vehicle. But I did want a way to charge it. And the plug plugs right in and very nice compared to your average uh, USB type plug. And it just opens up like that. The door here acts as a stand. And I'm not sure if you can see because of the um, all the sun. Lock some of the sun here, but um, it's charging good, and it tends to charge. I would say, um, if I can get some shade on this thing. Well, it tends to charge pretty quick. I mean, very quick. Well, I don't know if you can see it, but in any case. These, these two make a very nice um, combo, and that's why I bought this. Uh, I'm going to put a link where uh, you can get your own Sherpa 50. They're on discount now, so you can get these um, pretty reasonably priced. even comes with the inverter. Makes a great um, preparedness combination. Also, the back uh, pocket slash stand is removable. with magnets. I'm going to put up the uh, weights and the dimensions for this. The weight though is one of the downsides. For example, this is a uh, 13 watt panel. I've reviewed this one as a stand as well. This one is the uh, ECEEN. So the uh, rated output in optimal conditions is nearly the same. Oops, accidentally took the thing off. But the um, weight is a lot less. I'm going to point out one of the criticisms that people made of this panel, and they're absolutely right. These little um, magnetic holders, they're glued on. They just come right off. So that's um, one of the downsides. I'll have to glue it back on, but I really don't bother. I tend not to use the stand itself. I just kind of um, prop it up on my pack or something like that.
plug in this iPad. We have some. We have some clouds. Um, we're at uh, 5.16 by 0.57 of an amp. There's the clouds. We'll see if we can't, um, there. Do we have a restart? We have a restart at um, 0.76 of an amp by 5.15 volts. In these conditions, I'll test charging my cell phone. So we'll see what we get in about an hour or so. Time is um, 2.08, 32%. We got, uh, we have clouds. We have some mixed clouds and sun. There. So we'll see what we get. It's charging it at um, 0.78 of an amp at five. 0.15 volts. We'll come back to this. We've got a little bit of uh, clearing here. There's some upper level haze, but it's basically blue sky. So I want to show you something. The panel is uh, charging the phone at 5.13 volts by 0.95 of an amp. This solar intensity thing is reading. Um, two lights with one flashing now if I um, do something which makes the phone draw in more power now the draw is 1.11 of an amp basically the panel can accommodate a greater draw than the um, cell phone normally charges at. So what you're seeing here is not actually the maximum potential of the panel in these conditions. It's what the phone is actually accepting from the panel. It'd be the same way if this was directly plugged into a USB outlet. So right now we're charging at 5.13 volts by 0.96 or 97 of an amp. So let the test keep going. Some clouds are moving in, so I think it's a good time to stop the test. I had to move uh, the rig over. Charging at um, 5.2 volts by 0.38 of an amp. Looks like... Um, 869 milliamp hours in um, one hour and 13 minutes. Okay, in one second. There we are. 870 milliamp hours, one hour and 13 minutes. Let's see what we got for the phone. 327, and it's 93. 93% um, charged. Okay, 327 and 93% charged. The Goal Zero Nomad 14 Plus did pass all of its testing. I think it charged the cell phone fast enough considering the intermittent nature of the sun. The charge error countermeasures did seem to work. But the question is, do I recommend this panel? Well, I guess it depends. If you have a um, Sherpa 50 or Sherpa 100, then absolutely. The reason being, it's pretty much the only panel which will, that I know of, which will actually charge it in the sun. So, yeah. I recommend it less though, if you're um, backpacking or for bugging out via backpack.
backpack bugging out or whatever, bug, bug out bags or, or whatever, whatever. The reason being is I feel it's a bit too bulky um, and maybe a little bit uh, too expensive considering other options which are available. However, for base camp, for car camping, for, uh, for your preps for uh, your home, yeah, sure, why not? All right, if you like what you've seen, give me a thumbs up, hit the subscribe button, and as always, thanks for watching.